I'm Alan White, and welcome back to another edition of the Big Orange Bird. Well, today I'm going on to hollowed, if not a little bit forbidden, ground. Uh, if I say the word Oshkosh, anybody in, with aviation background knows what I'm talking about. Oshkosh, Wisconsin is home of the Experimental Aircraft Association and the world's largest fly-in each summer. Uh, the EA hosts AirVenture, which has tens of thousands of planes that fly in for the week, and you can find anything aviation there. It is considered a rite of passage for many pilots to fly into Oshkosh. Well, this spring, I went to the RAF convention in Wisconsin, and we got a chance to do something with the EAA that very few people get to do. Now, Whitman Field there at Oshkosh is a very large airport. That's why they have the room to do what they do. They've got four runways, lots of taxiways, lots of green space, so they can put this show on. Did I say four runways? There's actually five. And I'm not talking about that little ultralight field that they use during um, air venture. No, I'm talking about a 2,000 foot grass strip right in front of the EA Museum called Pioneer Field. It's Whiskey Sierra 1-7. And that is a field that is for the private use of the EAA. It's very complicated to use it. They have to coordinate with the control tower to know which hours it's going to be open and when it's going to close. Uh, there's special procedures you have to fly to come in there only from certain directions, certain altitudes. You got to stay between certain headings, um, stay below 500 feet to uh, in your entire flight profile into the into and out of Pioneer Field. And it's a very short turn to final, and you got to turn right out as soon as you're airborne uh, when you depart to stay out of the path of some of the runways there at Whitman Field. So very few people get, actually get to fly into Whitman Field. You have to have a briefing um, and coordinate with the EAA. Of course, they have to let you in. But we were very fortunate to get to do that this spring. And so I got to go into this field that very few people get to fly into. And that was just so much fun. And flying right there in the midst of um, all the... Uh, runways there at Whitman. It was very interesting. So here's the adventure. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I'd like to thank the EAA and the RAF for making uh, that possible. That was a lot of fun flying in there uh, and just be able to say that I've landed. To, to check that one off um, my bucket list, to say I've been there, done that, that was, that was cool. Uh, the EAA museum was really nice. Man, that was cool. That's all I can say. Hope you liked it.